About a year ago I switched to Mac and it was not enough for me. So I needed some accessories, let's call them this way, uh, to actually make it work for me. And the first ever thing, well first of all I'm used to it, but second of all I kind of did need it. It's uh, this tiny thing, which is crucial <laughs> for my setup. It's Crucial SSD, uh, literally the brand is called Crucial. Uh, what for? My Mac has two terabytes of uh, inbuilt SSD. Well, the thing about inbuilt SSDs is that you cannot just expand your storage or easily swap it, replace it in if, if needed. Uh, but these things are very portable, as you can see. It's like it's actually so tiny, so not a problem to let's say swap around these things or maybe uh, carry them with you in case you have multiple working uh, machines yep and guess guess what uh, this tiny ssd packs two terabytes of storage in it there is a version for one terabyte two terabytes and four terabytes but this one is x9 pro so there is also an 10x Pro and 10x uh, goes up to 8 terabytes, I think, in this tiny body, which is insane to me. Now, uh, it is much cheaper than MacBook storage. This is also one of the reasons why I tend to use SSDs and keep my Mac storage as an emergency storage. What about the speed? Yeah, uh, MacBook SSDs are a bit faster, but I mean, up to 1000 megabytes per second for such a tiny thing. It packs USB 3.2, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is faster than my SSD cards, so no, not really a problem for me. Maybe I will switch to something faster like X10 Pro in the future, but for now this is more than enough. And also it has a rating of IP55, which means it is scratch and water resistant. Such a lovely piece of tech. It's so fine built. It also is fall resistant up to two meters, which I didn't test uh, myself and I will not. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, while it weighs just 40 grams and it has a rubber um, backside, I think it is indeed uh, water dust and fall proof. <laughs> full proof <laughs> yeah so now this is um i can't work without it i i, I do i, I can but I, I won't this is for sure so yeah i'll just plug it in and be uh, the happiest man alive now second of all uh my macbook although it is a big one 16 inch one still um screen real estate was not enough for me because <laughs> imagine I was editing for about a year using a 43 inch TV in front of me. So imagine going back to MacBook, it was a pain. But also I, I couldn't connect uh, my TV right away. I mean, the MacBook has um, HDMI, but then okay, it's a long story. Just, let's just say that I couldn't connect easily my TV to my Mac. Therefore, I had to switch to MacBook completely. Also, since I'm a mountain biker and I, I wanted to travel, and now I am traveling, uh, I wanted a really portable setup. I wouldn't carry a 43-inch TV with me all the time. Unfortunately. <laughs> this is why. Ah. This tiny thing. It's called Sotso Flip Action Go 14-inch. And now, the name speaks for itself. It is actually action go model because uh, look at this so this this thing right here detaches it's on a magnet magnet it's a stand and well yeah I can just place it wherever and all this uh, setup can be packed inside uh, well I would call it a mouse pad which is technically it's not a mouse pad it's just a carrying pouch but I can use it as a mouse pad if needed and I saw other users do the same because well the material allows for it so that's great yeah it's just very portable and without the flip you see um, freaking awesome 
it allows to do this with uh, smaller MacBooks, like the 14 inch. Uh, my 16 inch, I can only use it like uh, sideways, side to side, yeah. But still, uh, it's more screen. I wouldn't say it's a color grading monitor. It's more of a preview monitor or just, well, to let's say, keep the finder open, keep the notes open, or maybe, I don't know, just your Spotify. Imagine a whole screen for your Spotify. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> the build quality is insane. I freaking love it. I'll make probably a dedicated video just about these monitors because these are awesome. Awesome monitors. Uh, this one exactly. Full HD, 60 Hz, 100% as RGB color space. So yeah, once again, not a color grading monitor, but it's a great preview monitor. And also with the Max, it connects with just one cable, USB-C to USB-C. With Windows laptops and PCs, you'll have to use like HDMI to micro HDMI and then the USB-C to power it. But here, the USB-C works, it's a, it's a Thunderbolt in MacBook, so it works as an HDMI and a power adapter. So that's great. <laughs> And the best part, I guess, you can get this with a discount using DK5 code. My link is in, in the description, go ahead. Really, these things are lovely. Now, I expanded my storage, I expanded my screen, but it's not, 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 that's not it. Uh, while MacBook's, what is it called, Magic Trackpad, yeah? It, it is great, it is awesome. Uh, as a former PC user, I am really used to mice in my setup. And so a mouse for MacBooks, well, yes, I could technically connect a mouse with a, with a cable. Damn, it was so long, a cable. Yes, you can connect it with a cable. Uh, I don't really think it's the, the, the right choice because if it's a portable machine and I'm already connected to a portable screen which requires a cable I would want to have a wireless mice mouse yeah with me and so it was not the only choice but it was one of not many that can connect to a device via Bluetooth and still have decent performance so this is Logitech MX Master 3S I know they just launched the MX Master 4, but oh well, I don't have it. In case you, you want uh, Logitech to re for me to review it, just DM me, okay? <laughs> um, I was sold on a horizontal wheel, scroll wheel. Turns out it's not really the best feature of this mouse. Uh, it's fine, I guess, it's fun to use, but I was thinking about Let's say on the editing timeline, I would just scroll here and there with this wheel and then the, the usual one will go up and down. I didn't really work out because the sensitivity is not enough. Uh, but yeah, it's fine for Photoshop use, for something else. I don't really, really use it. The most used thing for me uh, are these two buttons. I really love these. I use them for, in general use, for copy-paste. You can awesome. In editing, it's my start and end to play head, which speeds up my editing miles. And um, there is another one, a little button uh, right here. You just call it with, with your, press it with your thumb. And so it's for a smooth audio transition for me. So it also speeds up the editing. And instead of Shift T, I just that's it. And uh, this button up top, I use it for um, Option Y to select everything to the right of the playhead, which is also a great thing to have while you're editing. So yeah, uh, customizable buttons for any any program. There is like a whole suite, you can customize everything. I guess I, I could use more custom buttons, but this uh, actually speeded up my process quite a lot. Freaking awesome. And I am cable free. Yeah, it uh, holds up the battery quite a lot, uh, quite quite nice. Yeah, maybe I'm charging it once a month, probably. Oh, actually, it's now even cheaper than it was because the new model, because of the new model. So, yeah, just wanted to share it with you. I also know there is a Rapu one, which is like a 
copycat of this i think i will someday review these two i don't have it at the moment but maybe i will arrange something yeah well that's not it actually i have more to share but uh, in terms of accessories as is these are literally the three that i use every day and i i can work without them but i don't like it this makes my setup feel better faster more efficient so yeah, if you want a part two, let me know. I have apps to share, maybe some workflows. Honestly, I have tons to share and I will. Bye. Easy peasy.